Hello everybody, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Um, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets all wired up for the background and forever blossoms and I use this big stamp. I haven't used this for a little while. The cards start oh the best wishes come from um didn't bring it over. Hang on. Oh, this one. Art gallery. I forgot to get it out. Right, it's that one. Right. That's it. Sticky scissors, I need to clean them. Right, so yes, so I've used the art gallery for best wishes. My cardstock, I'm going to do it in purple posy. I have a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have two pieces of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I have a piece of purple posy at three and three. Three and three eighths. Oh no, three and five eighths by five and three eighths to go on top there. And I have a scrap of white for the image. So to get started, we need to stamp our background. So I'm going to get my stamp out and I'm going to do what I normally do. Don't bother using a um, block. And we're going to ink it up in purple posy. Like that, well inked. I'm going to pop that on top and we're going to get a piece of scrap paper and rub it on. Quite nice. That does not, it's moved. I'm going to do it again on the other side because it looked like it's moved. So on. I won't bother with a piece of paper. I'll just get ink all over my fingers. That's better. Looks nicer. Hasn't got like a blurred look on it. Clean up the stamp. And pop that in there. Alright, we don't need that anymore. What we do need is this memento ink and our image and we're just gonna ink this up well and 
and we're just going to pop this in the middle of the page or card. That's all we need for that. Put that away, don't need that, don't need that. Right, we've got to colour this in. And I have got here dark crumb cake, light granny apple green, a pink, and light so saffron. I don't want so saffron, I want daffodil delight. Yep, so I might as well start with this since it's in my hand and just colour in the yellow. So all I'm doing is just a little speck of yellow in there. The brown crumb cake, we just do the stem. All our stems done. Right, granny apple green. We're going to do the leaves. When I made this card, which was a few weeks ago. I um, thought I'd better use it because it's bound to be retired and guess what it's not it's getting carried over now there is the stamps that I'm going to use on a few cards in my filming week that has retired, or oh, is retiring. Right, pink is, oh, I know what I forgot to do with that green. Just colour in all the flowers in pink. And this is Blushing Bride. I've seen the new colours. Gorgeous. Now, two of my favourite ink colours are going the well, all five of them are going, but the two I use most purple posy and uh, seaside spray. I'm not going to get rid of them, I am going to use them. I can only use the purple posy until it runs dry as I don't have a re -inker for it. Seaside spray, I've got a re inker for that, so as long as I can re ink it, I shall use it. And I've got plenty of cardstock as well. So, let me just do the bottom of the buds. There we are. So that's our flowers, flower done. Right then, now 
we need our trimmer and what we're going to do I'll just do it from the bottom I'm sure you can see that yeah what we're going to do I'm going to put it in the trimmer and we're just going to cut it in half like that then we're going to cut down this bit because we don't want too much white I'm going to keep one of these and then I am going to cut down uh, this one in between that big flower so that's my top and I'm also going to take off some of this white that's the top of my flower now for the bottom I am going to take off some of the white at the bottom don't need that and I'm just going to take off a little bit of the white at the side because I don't want them the same size Right, with this one, I'm going to just take a little bit off the top and I'm going to cut that there. And I'm going to take a little bit off the side and a bit more off the top of this. And that's going to sit. Let's go a little bit more if I can. Yeah. Right, this one, I want it smaller. So I'm going to chop that off and chop that off. As you can see, I've really chopped it up in different sizes, which I want. And then one of these will be the best wishes, whichever one I can stamp on. So I'll need it. Well, that one will do. Let's stamp that out. this down a little bit and that one will go in there like that right we'll get rid of them all that Now we've got to put all these on dimensionals. And here's my dimensionals.
No, finishes that off. And then we just got to put it all together. So, bring in the rest of the card. And on our card base like that. did I do anything inside? no because best wishes could mean anything really best wishes in a new job um, birthday wishes could be anything really you can put your own sentiment inside or greetings or whatever you write inside a card right now then put these back so that's the bottom and that's the top that side That's the top, that side, and that's the bottom, that side, and most the centre on the floor. So, I'm going to put this one down first, as it's the largest one. going to pop that there. Now when I put these down I will be leaving a gap between each section. So this one will go here but I'm leaving a little gap between it. And the same with this one. I need to turn this round. Leave a little gap between them. And this one we just pop. It's not part of the picture. There we are. That is all there is to that card. Giving it a tile effect. But off centred. Something different. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. 
if you like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you should be notified by YouTube of when I upload another video which we usually is a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.